Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome to Friday. Sunny nesting and resting for the royalty of the zodiac, the Leos. That's because the moon has now transited into Scorpio as of this morning, which means on Easter weekend, regardless of your religion, you'll emotionally probably be just kicking it at home with home and family. It's a recharging weekend. Now, one thing I will advise you, if you got big family plans this weekend, even Passover, which was during the week, I know that, but still sometimes things continue, you may find yourself at opposite ends of the table intellectually and emotionally with certain family members or roommates. One thing about Moon and Scorpio is it tends to polarize people or force boundaries in place where they were needed all along. That's what Scorpio energy does. It divides the peas from the carrots on our, on our plate. So oftentimes people get into a little bit of conflicts, but they realize in that conflict, hey, this guy, this girl, she's not on the same side with me. Right, so maybe you shouldn't be on their team anymore. Now, zipping around to the sun in Aries, it's now time, as of today, to start building your new philosophies and belief structure for 2009. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun in Aries. As you well know, the topic has been what your beliefs are, clearing out your beliefs, having a nice, clean belief structure so it can operate. It's kind of the spiritual code our life runs on. And if you still have some unanswered questions or you have looking for still yet an epiphany. That may come as of Sunday because Uranus will be ruling the day on Sunday. As you probably know, Uranus is breakdown, breakthrough energy. But by chapter three, most of the time it's breakthrough, especially for soul gardeners because soul gardeners are aware of everything changing every moment thanks to my horoscope. So you'll likely just have breakthrough. But either way, be advised, if you've been in denial, things may go a little hairy on Sunday. One last piece of information. Mercury has now creeped ahead into the next sign, Taurus. And when Mercury is a sign ahead, our consciousness, our awareness, our intellect, which is what Mercury is, starts thinking ahead. We start getting future-oriented. So I would not be too surprised if Leo start really processing what they're going to do next in their career and what they're going to do next in the legacy of their life and starting to prepare for that, which is what Sun Taurus is about. Incidentally, Mercury will go retrograde on May 7th. So mark it in your calendar. All right, Your Majesty, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. See you back on Monday again. Until then, live, love, be. So